Are you frustrated with your iPad Pro's unresponsive screen? Whether you rely on your device for work or play, dealing with an unresponsive touchscreen can be incredibly annoying. In this video, we'll delve into the common reasons behind an iPad Pro screen not responding and provide you with actionable troubleshooting tips to bring your device back to life. From software glitches to physical damage, we'll cover it all, helping you regain the full functionality of your iPad Pro. Before we begin, we would appreciate it if you hit that like button. Let's get things rolling with the simplest yet highly effective troubleshooting technique, restarting your iPad Pro. This is like a quick refresh for your device's system, often nipping those pesky software glitches in the bud. Press and hold the power button simultaneously with either of the volume buttons. Keep holding these buttons even when the slider appears on the screen. Wait until the screen goes completely black. After about 30 seconds, the iconic Apple logo should make a triumphant return, indicating a successful restart. Sometimes an unresponsive screen can be attributed to physical damage. So let's take a closer look and see if we can spot any signs of trouble. Check the surface of your screen for any cracks, chips, or deep scratches on the glass. Even hairline cracks might be causing touch input problems, leading to an unresponsive screen. Examine the body of your iPad Pro. If it's even slightly bent or warped, it can put pressure on internal components, like the display connectors. This could interrupt signals from the digitizer to the CPU, causing unresponsiveness. Keep an eye out for areas where the display glass is separated or detached from the iPad body. This separation could indicate adhesive failure, which in turn affects the connections to the digitizer. Sometimes it's the little things that make a big difference, like the accessories and cases attached to your iPad Pro. These might be causing interference and messing with your touch sensitivity, leading to an unresponsive screen. Let's start by carefully removing any third-party cases, covers, or screen protectors that you have on your iPad Pro. These accessories can sometimes be too tight or restrictive, causing touch issues. Take your time to gently detach or peel them off. For those of you using external keyboards, fully detach them from your iPad Pro. These accessories can also be a culprit, so make sure your device is free from any attachments. Once your iPad Pro is free from accessories, it's time to test the screen's responsiveness. Give it a few taps and swipes to see if the unresponsiveness issue persists. If your screen is behaving better without the accessories, you might have identified the problem. When you've tried everything and your iPad Pro screen still refuses to cooperate, it's not the end of the road. Apple Support is here to save the day. When you contact Apple Support, be sure to explain the steps you've already taken to troubleshoot the issue. Share any error messages and details about when and how the unresponsiveness occurs. The more information you provide, the better they can assist you. We hope these tips have been helpful in getting your device back on track and restoring its full functionality. If you found this video informative and valuable, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications.